To log into Spider Impact, I've already opened Chrome and entered my username and password. I'll now click Login. Upon logging in, I'm brought immediately to the home page. Important note is that I've chosen to display KPIs for my scorecard item names. Your display can look different depending upon your admin settings. With that said, on the far left in black is the primary navigation pane. The panes separate into the three main sections, personal, presentation, and foundation. Each option within these sections, such as scorecards, is activated by a single click. The pane can be collapsed and expanded using the arrows at the bottom. To the right of the primary navigation pane is the home pane. The width of the pane can be adjusted by the right edge. It can also be collapsed and expanded using the arrow at the bottom. The pane gives simple one-click access to my alerts, KPIs, I update and own, and my tasks. Further to the right is the main area of the home page. It contains four sections, welcome message, new alerts, your responsibilities, and spider impact support. The welcome message at the top is the system administrator's opportunity to provide an important message regarding the system. It can include text, images, links, or embedded videos. Moving down the screen, the new alerts section shows up to four alerts of recent activity that either I have subscribed to or that were pushed to me. If I want to see more things than just the four that are visible on screen, I can get to them in two ways, by either selecting the alerts link or by clicking Show All Alerts at the bottom. To investigate any of the alerts, like Total Gross Profit now being a score of zero for September, it's a simple click on the alert. This will take me to a detailed view of the KPI with its trend for the past year, where I can confirm that the score is indeed zero for the month of September. I can toggle between periods in the top right, and I'll just switch to August and then back to September. If I select the KPIs tab, I can get a report view of the KPI history. I can quickly scan and see that within every month for the past year, total gross profit has performed well. It is just September that is in the red. I'll switch back to the overview tab, and notice that down at the bottom, if I wish to add a note, I can select Add Note. I can then type a message, select the period that I want the note added to, and then select Add Note. But in this case, I'll select Cancel, since I've already commented on this issue. If I want to see that comment, I can click on it. I'll see my initial comment at the top and all the responses below that. I'll select Close. As I alluded to earlier, I'll see that the note is only applicable for September. If I toggle back to August, note that the note has disappeared. If I forward again to September, it reappears. When I'm done commenting and seeing all the details I want to see, to get back to the main screen, I'll select the home link in the primary navigation pane. Once I've read an alert, it will be removed from the home page. If I want to bring it back, I need to click on Alerts. The alert is currently showing in Alert History, where I can either let it sit forever or I could restore or delete it. I'll click Mark as in red and see that it gets restored to the New Alerts section. If I go back to the Welcome page, I see that the alert is nicely placed back in its original order. Moving to the right of New Alerts, the Your Responsibilities section contains a listing of the KPIs I update and own, along with my tasks. To access the KPIs I own, I'll click on My KPIs. If I want to see just the underperforming KPIs, I'll select the red filter at the top. To restore the full list, I would click on Red again. If I wish to see more details on any of the KPIs that are underperforming, like total gross profit, I can simply click on the name, and it will drill down to the more detailed view that I reviewed earlier. To 
get back to the main screen, I'll select Home. To see the KPIs I update, I'll select Update KPIs. I can see that for September 2021, all my KPIs have been updated. However, if I switch to October, I'll see that the actual values are empty. If I was ready to update them, I could load an actual value along with a note. If I had a right to do so, I could also edit the threshold values. When I'm done with my changes, I would select Update KPIs in the bottom right. However, I'll switch back to October, not save anything, and return back to the welcome screen. To see my tasks, I'll select that link. Just like before, I can filter to see just underperforming or overperforming items by selecting the tabs at the top. To drill down on an underperforming task, like build SEO capability, I'll click on the name. You can see how this item is tracking in regard to schedule and budget. It's running a month late and about 10% over budget. In the middle, I can review schedule and budget performance over time. Once I'm done seeing all the details I want to see, I'll select Home to go back. The last area is the Spider Impact Support section. This provides the option to contact a support resource by selecting Contact Us typing a message, and selecting send. In my case, I'll just select cancel. By default, this message will be sent to the help desk at Spider Strategies, but the system administrator can customize that within administration. 